Hey guys, welcome once again to my channel. Thank you for joining me. This tutorial was highly requested. It's the glass uh, nail tutorial. This is just my version of how I do it and I'm gonna show you guys from beginning to end. So I started off by removing my model's nail polish. She did have a dark color. That's why you see the nails a little bit stained. To avoid that, um, use a base coat before you're gonna use any dark polish. That way your nails don't get stained. So I sprayed all the hands with alcohol for two reasons. Reason number one, to disinfect, like it, I use it as an antiseptic. And reason number two is to soften the cuticles before I'm gonna push them back. So as you guys saw, I first push with the cuticle pusher gently, then I cut down the cuticles a bit, just any excess dry cuticle. Then I cut down the nails. And now I'm using, this is my favorite cuticle bit. It's so inexpensive, so cheap. I'm gonna put the link down in the description box of where I buy it, okay? And I'm just making sure I remove all that dry cuticle because I don't want her nails to lift. So I have to make sure and get in there really good, gently, but very thoroughly. Okay, as you can see, I'm removing that top shiny layer. We wanna open the pores of the nails, so to speak, so that everything we put on next will be absorbed and it will adhere correctly. So I used a 240 by 240 grit file for that. And then I cleansed all that excess dust off and now I'm applying prep and then I'm applying prime. The reason I'm applying prime is because I'm not going to use tips. I'm going to um, sculpt the nails using nail forms, okay? And in this case, I'm using um, Harmony nail forms. They're one of my favorite. They're on the top of my list. Harmony, Organic, and Nail Factory are my top favorite nail forms. So I'm using Nova Inks Ivory Custom Mix. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous off-white. It's not too white, but it's not beige either. It's the perfect off-white. So as you can see, I'm just shaping the nail and I'm placing that last bead up in the cuticle area. Every time I'm gonna place a bead in the cuticle area, I make sure that it's a little more wet than usual. That way it blends in perfectly with the rest of the nail. Now to the fun part, guys. This is called hoop tape. It's amazing to give you that glass effect um, on the nails. I'm gonna post the link down in the description box of where I bought it. it it's just gorgeous. I fell in love with it and it makes our job so much easier because it, it has that sticky part in the back. So let me begin. I'm gonna be using Nova Inks Clear Acrylic and I'm just going to form a thin nail just to have that base. So now I just make sure those sides are nice and clean, that way I don't have to file that much after. And once the nail is um, semi-dry, where the acrylic isn't sticky, that's when I go in with the nail pincher, and I just give it that pinch to make the nail stronger and to add that C curve, okay? As I showed you guys before, I took off the backing from the hoop tape, that way it's just ready for me to use, and I just waited for the acrylic to dry and then I applied that hoop tape onto the nail. Uh, just make sure you don't apply it too close to the cuticle area because then when you encapsulate, it's gonna be hard and you're, when you file, you're gonna file that off. Since the cuticle area is always thinner, just try not to get too close to the cuticle. So I took off the nail form as you guys saw um, just to cut off that excess hoop tape and um, yeah, once it's done, I just press it with my fingers and look how gorgeous, guys. Look how amazing this shines. So once I pressed it in there, I'm just encapsulating with clear acrylic. Okay, now that the acrylic is completely dry, I go in with my file and I start with the side walls and I just make sure that they're sh nice and nicely shaped. And then I go and I do the tip of the nail to make sure that it's straight. Okay, then I go and I file overall and now I'm buffing the nails. I remove the excess dust. I spray some more alcohol on there and with a lint-free wipe, 
I remove all of that alcohol. Then I make, I, these are like a staple in everything I do now, the Valentino candy scrubs. I make sure that my model goes and washes her hands. That way she comes back with gorgeous exfoliated skin. And then I sprayed each nail with alcohol just to remove the essential oils that the candy scrub uh, gives. We want that on the skin, but not on the nails, okay? So then as you guys can see, I applied Nova Inks Resin. If you want an extra, here's a little tip. If you want, um, I didn't do it here, but when I want to make sure that the, these rhinestones will not fall, I apply one coat of primer let it dry a bit then i apply the resin and go on with my routine and i don't know what it does but those rhinestones do not fall so after that i applied a little bit of primer in the cuticle area just to make sure that my uv gel will not lift and will be on there forever <laughs> and my uv shine it's also led compatible as you guys can see i'm using my favorite led lamp and this is the 70 percent off code for you guys link is down in the description box and since I use clear acrylic on the middle fingers I am using some of my gel um, top shine gel under the nails also and um, guys this um, silicone little stick from wildflower nails is amazing to clean up that excess gel it leaves the skin just perfectly and I just cured in my LED lamp and now I'm adding cuticle balm you guys my online store is open today Today, Friday the 13th at 6 p.m. PST. Um, I do have some cuticle bombs. They were out of stock for a while, but they are back in stock. So I hope you love this, you guys. Love you guys and live to inspire.